Okay, guys, here is that, um, it was a silver galvanized umbrella stand that I wanted to paint over and decorate for my brother since I took his glass paws that he had his umbrella sitting in. Anyway, I just went ahead and spray painted it. I did not record it because I didn't want any spray to get on this camera, on the lens. And this is what I used. I used a Krylon Fusion all-in-one. I did, uh two coats so now I'm just gonna let it dry my only concern with this is the top part of the handle uh, that's facing down is not um, spray painted and I really don't want to get any paint on the inside so I'll figure that out after it dries and I turn it over but I just wanted you to know I did go ahead and spray painted it and then I did print a picture of one of his artworks that I cut and then I got to figure out how I'm going to put it on, and that's going to be it. I will probably also uh, polyurethane this when I'm finished. But I'll be back when it's dry. Okay, um, here's the vase inside. It's still not 100% dry. I just wanted to get it off the porch. I didn't want any dust to get on it, and I don't want it to rain. So it is finished as far as I'm concerned, as far as the spray painting. Here is one of the pictures that I took of his artwork. I think I may put more than one picture on here. I haven't decided yet. So he doesn't know. And I just asked him, oh, just send me a couple of paintings that you, you know, that are just sitting around that you actually don't have hung. Some of your favorite paintings. He doesn't know what they're, what I'm using them for. So I'm going to see if he sends me a couple of more. And if I like those, I will cut those out and put them on here. All I'm going to do is glue them on. I just haven't decided which glue I'm going to use. I could use... Uh, uh, the E6000, I can use the Gorilla Glue, I can use the Well Bond, um, I could Mod Podge them on. I just haven't decided which glue, but I will show you which glue I do use. And then once that dries, I'm just going to polyurethane it, put it back in its original box, put a bow on it, and Merry Christmas. So I'll be back when I get to the glue part. So my umbrella, my um, umbrella stand is nice and dry. Um, I asked my brother, like I said, he doesn't know what I'm doing. So he sent me about six pictures, six abstracts. Um, and these were the two best ones because I couldn't tell him <laughs> what I was doing with them. So I said, just take a picture. So these were the two that came out the best. So these are the two I'm going to put on, uh, the umbrella stand. Um, I'm going to use the well bond. I'm just going to get some well bond all the way on the back, press it down let it dry, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to coat the whole thing with the polyurethane. So, like I said, this easy project, um, I've seen like wood etched uh, umbrellas you could put on here. You can put someone's initials on it or a name or a saying. Uh, real easy, uh, just something different. Anyway, I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay, this is done. I, uh, I glued two pictures on it. I had like six I didn't like. I only did these two. Um, I glued them on, and that top one I'm just not happy with because it's slightly slanted, but I used that well glue, and once it was on and I stepped back, I couldn't pull it off, so <laughs> I left it on there. And then I just used one, uh, one coat of the uh, water-based polyurethane. I may do a second coat, but again... This was just a little craft, just to decorate an umbrella stand, uh, real easy, just giving you an idea, something else that you can do. Um, if you like the content, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you got any comments or any questions, ask. Have a great day.